Hey guys and welcome to CryptoStat. Today I'll be going through CryptoStat and just showcasing what's inside. We won't really be going through really in-depth stuff, um, more just a showcase of what we have, what tools there is there, and then later on we'll be producing other videos to go in-depth into particular things that really require some explanation on to how to use them uh, to best of your advantage. So let's go ahead and log in here. Select that. Sure. Yeah. Now we do have crypto uh, We do have two FA um, set up on CryptoStat. So just for security reasons, go ahead and punch that in. Now this is where you land. This is the, the data that really can you know give you a major advantage in in trading. Uh, it can kind of indicate to you if something is looking you know bullish or bearish. Maybe you might be in a trade and you want to get out of it. You can come here, all the data is right there for you, and it's set out the way you like it and set out to how you trade. So in the settings here, you have your own preferences that you can choose. So unclick and click um, and add to the list of data that comes through. You can also go ahead and search for you know any particular pair. Uh, you can bring up a chart for that particular pair, unclick off it. You can bring up a price to uh, volume correlation chart as well, which we really like to utilize um, and we have in the past. So there's a little bit there on data and what sort of data and what you can do with it. I'll explain this in another video and just go really in depth. We do also have a Teva market, so that was a BTC market. There is also a Teva market to go through and uh, check out. Up here you've got the total market cap, the BTC dominance and the current price of Bitcoin, plus a whole lot of um, you know, time zones around the world, which you can change in the site settings, and I'll be going through that in this video. Um, within the statistics, we have also have a Binance MACD scanner. There's RSI down there at the moment. Let's go ahead and go through the site settings so I can add that, so I can show you guys how it works. These are the site settings. So these are your, your preferred settings, right? This only changes it for, use, for you as a user. Um, up here, chart default indicators. You can change the color of the theme. You know, you can have... Maybe you use a 200 MA or a triple EMA. You can click and unclick all of these indicators. Uh, there's a few indicators here that we tried to put. You know the ones that people really use. Uh, if there is a preferred one, you know we all, we're always open to suggestions, and if there's enough demand for it, we can add that too. So I've just clicked on MACD and RSI. Uh, RSI was already set, so I've added MACD just to go through um, what I'm going to go through in the statistics right there. So chart settings, you can also have drone tools or volume as well. You can unclick and click that. Chart style, some people, someone might like the, you know, um, Haikinashi or the hollow candles rather than the standard candles. You can choose which one you want when it comes up on the charts. And the default interval is just what you've set it at when you open the chart, it gives you that time frame. You might trade on the four hourly or the daily. You never know. Every person's different. Everyone has their own set preferences. Um, for the Binance links, we have a basic and an advanced. So as, as you know, Binance have a, a basic setup. And if you didn't know, um, there's also an advanced setup as well, which looks different. You can select which one you want to work off that link. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, here's the clocks that show up at the top. So you can select which one you want and which one you don't want to show. Um, you can also change it to a 24 hour time frame. So let's go head back to the Binance MACD scanner. This is a really powerful tool. A lot of people trade off just MACD. Um, and this is pretty much giving you all that data all in the one place. You know, instead of going and flicking through all these time frames to see where it has crossed bullish or bearish, this is doing it for you all in the one place. So if we have a look here, we have a rating set up as well, like a weighted score system. Um, and ETH at the moment is at 98.21%. And we all know what ETH has done. Um, recently versus BTC. It's actually climbed really well. Now let's have a look and try and see and try and understand. Right now, so we have an hourly here up the top selected and if you have a look on ETH, it's saying on the 1 minute we're bearish, on the 5 we're bullish, on the 15 we're bearish, on the MACD we're bearish on the 30 minute, we're bullish on the hourly. So let's go and have a look. On the hourly, this is the hourly candle, we got the MACD here and yes, we've been bullish since the 24th. Now let's select one that isn't. So let's go back to the 30. And currently we are bearish. The blue line is underneath on the 30. So instead of you going through every single chart and having a look at this, you can understand where the moving average convergence divergence lies within that time frame for that particular 
um, coin or token. And as you can see, it's all here. It's all listed. There's a weighted score. Obviously, the monthly is really powerful, and it throws the weighted score quite high. Um, if a monthly is cross bullish, it's a pretty big thing. Uh, for you know, if it closes and confirms on a monthly or a weekly, uh, it's a pretty good indicator to know when something is moving in that direction, whether it's bearish or bullish. So that's just going through Binance Make Things Scanner. We're pretty excited that we're giving this out through. Um, crypto step. Now if you have a look at the Binance RSI scan, and this is why I left the RSI here, um, it's pretty much telling you overbought or undersold or neutral, right? So if we have a look, uh, you see some red numbers here, they're the, they're the oversold, they're, they're sitting in the oversold zone for the monthly right there. So PIVX right now, I can just look straight away, on the monthly, we're sitting in the oversold range, whereas Dash right now, you know, for the 5 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute hour, we're over, we're overbought, right? So we're flying high. It's pretty cool to have this as well. Um, I don't particularly utilize the RSI much, but I do know people that do. So, you know, we thought it would be pretty cool to throw that in there as well. Uh, then we have the top 100 here. Pretty straightforward. Top 100 by market cap. Um, it's just all in here. So you don't have to go through, you know, CoinMarketCap and all these other websites. What the aim of CryptoStat really is, is we understand that crypto, crypto is a fast-paced environment. There is a lot of things happening in crypto. And what we try to do is throw all the information out there for you guys all in the one place so you don't have to go searching for that, you know, for the information that you really need, for that crucial information that makes a difference. It's that little bit, that 1% of difference that makes all the difference in your accounts and how you're going through ROI and all that sort of stuff and how you're traveling on your journey. Now we do have a Bitcoin data section here, you know, it gives you price change. If you just want to know, if you're just trading Bitcoin, you don't want to know everything else. You don't want to look at all the other noise. You can just come here and get, you know, the four hour change, hourly change and all that sort of stuff in here. And the chart comes up as well. Um, and then you also have different, uh, you know, exchanges up the top here. You can also bring up the price to volume correlation chart and the Google Trends as well. So this will fill over time. Um, and then you get the price on different exchanges and the difference in them. So that's pretty cool as well there. Now we have fundamentals here. You've got news, all the upcoming news that comes through, gives you when it was listed, when that news was there. We have a weird or a different type of filtering system for news. We try not to throw all the news out because you can understand how much news there is within the crypto space. It's a lot of stuff. So we have a, a filter that we've worked on um, to produce you know, the things that we believe are, you know, of significance, I guess. Upcoming events. This is pretty cool as well. Once again, all in the one place, all in the one platform, all there for you. So you can go through and, you know, you can get a dose of, you know, you can sit here for an hour and get everything that you need to get through in one day. Um, and it, you know, some, some stuff that you'd be going through in a whole day, you're going to get it done in an hour or two. So... It's just as an example's sake, but th th what I'm trying to say is there is all the data is here for you to utilize all in the one place. We also have coin listing, so it'll tell you which coins were listed and where, and also give you an alert. We've got a fear, fear and greed index as well on the whole market and where, where we're at. This is basically run off Bitcoin, but it kind of gives you an understanding of where the market's going. Block supply. Uh, this is kind of like a weight alert system. You can turn on or turn off the alerts for this in the site settings down here. Right there, large transactions, coin listings, and news alerts. You can pretty much turn all this section off if you like. Um, and this as well. Because they're the only ones that are coming as notifications. Some people don't utilize this. Some people like to understand what's going on. And, you know, want to see, want to understand why things are being moved around what, the way they are. So if you have a look, you know, 6 million link here was moved from Binance to Binance, so one account to the other, 32 minutes ago. We also have a Bitcoin hardening estimator here, and also a Litecoin one, just because, why not? We have a charting section here, uh, which brings up four charts for you, and my screen is not really favorably set up for it. You can control, you know, negative and adjust the zoom of your own particular screen and make it work for you. You can choose any pair you want here. 
You can use any of these tools. I've got a pitchfork here, just for example's sake. Oh, I did that all wrong. Let me do that again. I've got a pitchfork here, just for example's sake. As you can see, just throwing it on there so you can guys can see that the actual TA tools actually work here. So you can come here for your technicals, your fundamentals, your raw data that's coming through, and make decisions based on that. So you can load whatever you like on here, um, whichever pair there is out there. You can load that here um, and, and do the charting all in here. Site settings, so we've been through this already. Um, pretty straightforward. And then we have account, we have security, subscription, and overview. Um, the security part is where you can turn on your, you can change your password, you can set up MetaMask, one-click login, no, no to a fae required because no one should know your MetaMask private key, um, and you can set up your to a fae, disable it, whatever you like. So yeah guys, that's pretty much a recap, just a quick one, like I said, we're not really going in depth and, you know, covering how to utilize these things to, to your best advantage. I will be doing separate videos on each individual uh you know, segment of this and sharing that with you guys and making you understand how to totally utilize uh, CryptoStat to your advantage. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, just a quick short video. Really appreciate it and we hope you enjoy it. Cheers guys. Thank you.